It's a group of East Bay animal activists claim that they are being punished for protesting. Hey, sir. This demonstrator with direct action everywhere was dragged out of a restaurant in Berkeley last night after the manager says he was knocked down while trying to get the group to leave. The activists claim it was a peaceful protest meant to, quote, highlight animal cruelty in the food system. The same group also holds regular protests outside a Berkeley butcher shop. Emily Turner shows us the business is so fed up with all of it, it's decided to throw the activists a bone. Along with the regular fillets and ground beef, you'll also see this sign displayed at the local butcher shop in Berkeley. It's their ransom, so to speak, calling off the protesters that have been outside their store weekly for the last three months. There was no win-win situation brought to the table, um, but if this is what we needed to do to keep the peace in the neighborhood, then that's what we do. The protesters from the animal rights group behind the sign, Direct Action Everywhere, call it a victory. It reads, quote, attention, animals' lives are their right. Killing them is violent and unjust, no matter how it's done. When we consume, you know, what's called meat, this is the body of a living, feeling individual who wanted to live. So this is not just some personal choice. The group came up with a compromise, much like a cigarette warning label, as a way to raise awareness on their way to creating a meat-free Berkeley by 2025. <laughs> Never going to happen. A lofty goal by carnivore standards, but one the group is fighting for anyway. Even the fact that Monica Rakino's shop only carries local, hormone-free, pasture-raised animals from farms that slaughter humanely was a problem. They told Rakino they'd continue forever if the sign didn't go up. And with displays like this, she said she felt she had no choice. It's all black or white. Is um, it's sad. It's sad. It's really sad and it's frustrating and it's, um, it's just furthering intolerance. But it hasn't made for bad business. Meat eaters are a hearty lot and if anything, Rakino says, her numbers are up for all the attention. Likely not the outcome direct action was looking for, but their battle seems to be won elsewhere. We're all feeling very positive around here. This is uh, a big sign of progress. Uh, this is the first time, uh, to our knowledge, that something like this has ever been done. In Berkeley, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.